Hello everyone, today uh, we talk about chapter 9, programming language, step let the sequential function talk. So in previous chapter we already studied about uh, the letter language and uh, in this chapter we use a sequential function talk. So this language is have uh, its origin from the French standards, uh, the name is Brafset. So it's uh, developed from the Brafset in French standards. And uh, this uh, language is look like a low track. So uh, by using the symbol to construct the framework, and we can make the uh, low track to organize the sub program and sub routing. And also, this uh, language is useful for the sequential control operation when it's passed from one by one, one step to another step. For example, previous we uh, consider the mixer system. So in the mixer system, we can divide to many steps. Maybe we can divide into three steps. The first step we fulfill the material A and B. The second step we uh, turn on the mixer, and the third step we uh, open the valve to run out the mixture. So for the many uh, application, we can divide to many steps we can use the SFC language to repair the control program for the BUC to operate the system. It's very useful. And for the SFC language, it contains three uh, main elements. The first element we call is step. So the step is the state of the control process. For example, in the mixer system, in uh, the control process, we fulfill the material it's, uh, it's uh, called the state of the control process or we miss uh, the compound it's also the state of the control process so we define the step in the state in the control process the second element is the action so the action is a set of control injection uh, it means in the, that's it contained for every step so from uh, every step we uh, implement something, we implement the start, we execute, or uh, we turn on the lamp or turn on the valve, so that is uh, action for every step. And the final element, that is the transition, it means the condition to switch from the current step to the next step. So we want to uh, uh, switch from the current step to the next step, we have to get some uh, variable input. For example, maybe that's the uh, sensor, maybe that's the input, uh, and the contact, or the put system, or uh, uh, something connect to the output module of the VLC. Now we can see the example of three steps program. So maybe in the practical, they are over more than um, three steps, but in this case, we just can see the three step program. Uh, so the first step you can see here, uh, this step uh, different to uh, the other because this is the initial step. So when you see uh, the symbol with double square, so it means this is the initial step. And for the number two and number three, this is the normal step. And for every step, we have the action. So we can repair the action. It's been the content for every step, and also we can use the ladder or the uh, APD to repair the action for every step. And the third element that is the transition. So in here we have the transition one, transition two, and transition three to uh, switch from the step number one to the step number two. We have to pass the transition here. It means this transition uh, have to uh, get the signal to make the uh, network is on. So when you use the FFC to repair the control program, uh, there is no specific the configuration of the FFC. It means that you can use every configuration of the FFC. For example, in the first configuration you can use um, uh, the step and parallel step and no step after transition this is depend on your 
application requirement. So uh, I noticed you uh, there is no uh, fixed configuration of SFC. It depends on your application requirement and how to solve the problem, how to solve the requirement of your application. Then you can make and raise the configuration of SFC program. Now we can see the, the step in general. Uh, so uh, the first step is step 0. So this is the initial step and we uh, stand for S0. Then from the step 0 uh, to switch to the step 1, we have to pass the trigger 1 or the transition 1. And uh, and so on. We uh, can see that the step I minus one. So to activate this step, we have to pass the trigger I minus one. And after we want to switch to the step I, then we have to pass the trigger I or transition I. And you should to may remember that in at the moment there is only one step to activate, and the other in uh, is the uh, the other are uh, in the uh, active so at the moment in the in the same time just only one step activate and uh, for the FSC uh, element now we uh, define some uh, stuff first is the state or the step this is a state or the step. So we change for its SI. And uh, for the condition to switch to the step I, we have the starting trigger of the state I or step I. I stand for its I plus. And to ending condition, we stand for SI minus. And for the transition from the step I, we uh, stand for TI. So when the chick will come, the next day will be activated and the regular stay will be inactive. So uh, for example, to activate the step one, so the condition to start this day, uh, we call this is uh, S1 plus and to ending condition of the state test one, we call it the uh, S1 minus. And in this case, uh, S1 plus is uh, equal to T1 and uh, S1 minus equal to T2. Okay, now we consider in generally we have the state uh, I minus 1, T I and uh, the state I plus 1. So now we consider to uh, start transition of the state I or the step I, uh, we have SI plus, and in this case, uh, we have the condition is TI multiplied to SI minus 1. So it means that when we want to activate the step I, uh, we have to activate uh, the step I minus 1 already. Then we need the transition TI is true then we can activate the state i and to stop the state i we uh, should to be uh, of 10 si minus and in this case when we activate the state uh, i plus one then that's the uh, condition to stop the radius step of radius state si and finally, we can get the logical function of state i. So we have this formula. Uh, from si, we have the si plus plus si and multiply to si minus inverse. The inversion of the si is minus. Now we can see the another configuration of the FFC. Uh, so we can see the, the top transition of the state i. So to stop this state, we need this condition. Uh, because in here we have the parallel range. So by this range, uh, 
uh, from the state i there is one of three uh, k will be a secretive for example if the transition state i less one is true then from the state i is converted to the uh, state i plus one otherwise the transition i plus two is true then from the state i is can is with to the step i plus two and it's the uh, same for uh, the step i plus three so in this case just one of three steps will be implemented if each transition will be true and now we can see that to start the transition of a state i plus one so uh, the condition is the previous step already activate and also the condition is true and we make the multiplication of the condition because it have to guess the first condition and the second condition so we make the multiplication of this condition and it's same for the state i plus 2 and i plus 3 now we can see the the uh, the other configuration of SFC. So in this case, it uh, look like similar to previous case, but in this case, this is the uh, parallel branch. But uh, from the state I, it go to three flow from to the uh, step I plus one and also go to the i blood 2 and also go to the i i blood 3 so it mean uh, three range will be implement simultaneously not one J uh, for three brand also and uh, they will be implement simultaneous so uh, in this case, we have the top transition of the state i. So, uh, in here, we have the s i minus uh, because three steps will be uh, implemented simultaneous. Then the condition to stop the previous state, in this case, state i, we have to make the multiplication of the condition. And uh, now we consider the start transition of the state i plus 1 and it's same for the state uh, i plus 2 and i plus 3 uh, because in here uh, I, uh, you know i already mentioned that uh, three step will be implemented simultaneous so the condition for this step is same uh, the first various state uh, we have to check uh, the various state already then the condition because in here only one condition or one transition that's it is t i plus one so if condition uh, is choose then we can activate three of step now we can see the another configuration so in here we have the conversion we have the conversion and uh, to stop the step i plus one or uh, i blood 2 or i blood 3 is the same because when we activate the step i blood 4 then we can uh, inactive the various step now we can see the the start transition of the state i blood 4 uh, because in this case uh, just one of three steps uh, will be uh, implemented then switch to the i blood 4 step then the condition uh, to uh, start the transition of the state i plus 4 just uh, one of these conditions so in here we have the uh, addition addition and the condition we make the compile of uh, i plus 1 is mean we have to activate the step i plus 1 already then we need the transition ti i plus 4 and it's uh, similar to uh, the second k and the third k. Now we can see the, the conversion uh, for the simultaneous uh, implement of three steps. 
so in here it mean uh, so you can see this is the double line here it mean three brand will be implemented simultaneously then convert to the step ILS for so the stop transition is same for reverse K but for the start transition of the state ILS for it's different uh, so we need uh, the condition of activation the step I plus one, the step I plus two, the step I plus three, and we need the transition, the T I plus four. Then we can switch to the step I plus four. Now we can see the how to convert the logic function of the state I into the letter diagram. So we have the logical equation here. Then uh, we convert uh, this equation to the letter diagram. First, this term we make the output of the letter diagram. Then here we make the input condition, and in here we have the three input. The first SI plus in uh, parallel to SI. So here you can see it's in parallel, and this term in series to the S, the inversion of the SI minus. So the inversion of the divide, we can use the normal contact. So you see, if here, this is the SI minus, we can use the normal open contact. But for the inversion of the SI minus, we use the normal, no, normal close contact. Now we can see the sum instruction when we uh, repair the control program using the LFC in a 3S work tool. Uh, for the transition, we just type in TI. Uh, for the selection diversion, we uh, type in uh, .c, .d. And uh, to uh, enter the simultaneous uh, diversion, we type uh, echo, echo, and D. And we can see the another uh, injection. In here, we can use the chum injection to chum to or return uh, to the radar step is uh, very useful when we uh, repair the control program using the FFC language. Uh, and uh, now we can see the, the example. Uh, this is the popular example we already use in radio chapter. So we have to control the traffic line with the red line for the 10 second, the green line for the 7 second, and the yellow line for 3 second. So for competitive, we make the seven step using the normal coil then uh, we make the uh, control ram using the FFC so uh, to do that we first make the seven step using the normal coil uh, radius we already uh, revise the logical equation uh, using to construct the uh, seven step so this is uh, the logical equation for the step I now we apply this equation for step by step the first we have the step zero so the step zero um, to start the step zero uh, we have uh, one of uh, two conditions first maybe we take the start button and second maybe the timer number three already counting enough time so the timer uh, number three for counting three seconds of the yellow line it means that when uh, we put this system in the cycle repeatedly, uh, then uh, we just put the burst button, the start foot button, just one time, and we don't need to put any more. Uh, then to return uh, from the, three, the, the third step to the uh, first step, we just use the timer. Uh, when the timer uh, counting the enough setting time, uh, we can uh, start uh, over the cycle. And to uh, stop the step zero, uh, we use the step one. And finally, we can get the logical equation for the step zero. So we just substitute uh, this term in here, this, this term to here, and just keep uh, this this term. Then we can get the letter diagram. Uh, from the conversion of this uh, logical equation and the same for the 
uh, step one so in the step one uh, the start condition is the timer uh, number one uh, already counting in offsetting time and also we already activate the step zero already the timer one to counting 10 seconds for the red line and to stop uh, this step is uh, my mean is the step number one we use the step number two when the step number two activate then we can inactivate the step number one and finally we get the uh, logical equation by substitute this term and the second term here and then we can convert this logical equation to the letter that went to obtain here and similar to the state 2 so for the state 2 the condition to start the state 2 is the timer 2 already uh, counting uh, enough the setting time and the step number 1 already uh, inactive already and also we can get the diagram uh, then we can use uh, the the conceptual design and apply to the GS work to software to peel the control program. So uh, in practical, when we construct the control program, we can use the internal relay. So in this case, I use the internal relay. So you can see M0 to express step 0. M1 to express the step 1 M2 for step 2 so why we use the internal relay because this is the internal relay memory and it doesn't affect to the physical input or output so we can use the internal relay freely and we don't care about it few concerns to any physical input or output that reason we use the internal relay memory for the control program sometimes we can use this internal memory relay for uh, expect the flux or the state of the control process it's very useful when you prepare the control program so in this case I use the M1 to express the step 0 sorry m0 to express the step 0 m1 for step 1 and m2 for step 2 and also i use the timer 1 2 3 for counting the time uh, for the red line green line and yellow line so you can see we it's a uh, same to conceptual design uh, radio iso and finally we use uh, the step to write the output this is the physical output and also we open uh, counting for uh, the timer now we using the seven show chart seven uh, show function chart SFC to construct the control program and uh, to implement the requirement already I uh, we already uh, developed in uh, using the normal coin so in this case, uh, this is the initial step and uh, to switch to the step number one, we have to press the start button and in the step number one, the action is uh, we turn on the green line and we uh, open counting the timer uh, one for seven seconds then when the ti timer one is passed over then we can switch to the number two and for the number two step we turn on the yellow line and open the timer counting for uh, second uh, three seconds then when the timer three two pass over we can switch to the step number three and for the step number three we turn on the red for uh, ten seconds and after the timer number three pass over we return to the step number one to repeat the cycle so to do that you can see uh, to ending the step channel or we starting the step one is the same condition and that's it, the start button active to uh, end in the step number one or we uh, start the step number two is the same and the condition is the T1 it means the, the T1 is passed over and the same for 
here T2 sparse over and T3 sparse over and then we can uh, construct the control program in the trees work too so I already uh, put uh, the video in BKL to show you how to make the SFC program by using the trees work too uh, so uh, in here I just uh, express a brand uh, when you make the initial step so here what we would we can put anything to uh, indicate your control program in EXT so in here I put the internal relay M0 to indicate us uh, this control program already active when we uh, turn on the BLC and then we can put the transition so how to make this instruction in the switch work I already show you in the tutorial and in here we just can see the content 10 so the transition for uh, switching to the step number one is we put the start button and here is the content for the step number one we turn on the green line and open for counting uh, of the timer for seven seconds when the timer uh, reaches the setting value to uh, it uh, turn to the step number two and for the step number two it turn on the yellow line and uh, open counting for timer number two for three seconds after that when uh, the timer two reaching the setting uh, counting value it uh, switch to the step number three and for the step number three we turn on the red line and open counting for timer number three uh, for 10 seconds then when the timer number three reaches the setting counting value we will return to the step one so you can see in here we use the charm uh, instruction to return to the step number two and also you can see in the step uh, in the step one it have the point so indicate us from another step jump to this step so here you can see in the network uh, 13 we use the instruction jump to return the step number one and uh, in the step number one uh, appear a point to indicate there is uh, a jump can uh, a jump instruction from another step go to this step now we discuss the step ladder so rabbit i already told you uh, step that the in not a uh, different language it's just the transformation of the letter but when we use the step letter we use uh, some special instruction and also we don't need to uh, care about the step uh, implement one by one or not so now I show you some special instruction for the step letter we use the set to turn on the bit DY and also in here the uh, the special thing we uh, use the set instruction but we don't need to use the reset uh, instruction uh, later I will show you and we use the tron uh, reset it means we can reset multi-bit device and we have the special instruction step letter so this is the start of the step and we have the return instruction finally we use the end uh, instruction some special uh, big device uh, we have uh, here for the FS series of the Mitsubishi BLC and here for the Q series now we can see the uh, to implement the control program in a fission so step first we have to turn on the step by the set instruction uh, we just use the set instruction and we don't need to uh, reset uh, instruction because when we set the, the next step it's already reset the regular step so we don't need to use the reset instruction and when uh, we uh, set the current step uh, we would we would like to put a content or the action of this step we have to use the step letter instruction to open content for this step current step 
and after finish all steps, we can use the return instruction to return to the first step. It make the cycle repeat the control program. Now we uh, consider the train or configuration when we use to the step ladder. Uh, so to set the step number i, uh, first we have to obtain the condition. So if the condition is true, then we can set the step i. After that, uh, before we uh, put the content of this step, we have to use the step ladder instruction. Then in here you can see boot many network it means you can boot many tag or many action in here for the step number i and then when you want to uh, end in uh, end this step we just set the r the next step for example in this case we set the step i plus one then we can inactivate the previous step and we don't need to use the reset instruction and uh, similar to Ravia, um, in this step, for the step I plus 1, we have to use the step like the instruction to open content for this step. And in here, you can put many, many network to construct the action of this step. And finally, when you finish all step, you can use the return instruction to make the cycle repeat to uh, the first step. Now, we consider the example. So this example, we use the special pick device to set the uh, step channel. So why we use uh, M8002? Uh, because this uh, contact will be on on the first scan of the PC when we turn the PC run. So uh, this signal just give in one scan and we set the step channel. Then we use the step letter to open content for the step zero and in here you wish use this is look like the action for this step then we can set the next step as one and before we put the content of this step we have to use the step letter instruction then here this area for the content or the action of this step the set number one then uh, we use uh, the set instruction to activate the next step and inactivate the rare step. And also, we use the step lock the instruction to open the content for this step. So, in this case, I use two network to indicate that we can ma put many network in this area for the content of the step number two. So in this case, I put two network to show you we can put many network to make the content of the step. And uh, the step number three, in this case, I just put one network. And finally, we use the condition uh, to uh, set the step channel and we use the return instruction. Even though you uh, set the step channel it means you activate the step zero, but if uh, without the return instruction, the letter diagram will be error. So we have to use this return instruction. So this is the on content of this chapter. So I hope you understand on. If you have any question, we will discuss in the class time. See you.